Hey guys, so we are back with another Tom Ford quad. Uh, Tom Ford has recently released five new eyeshadow quads. Yesterday I talked about the Mink Mirage. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Noir Fumé quad, and I will be doing a dedicated video to each of the new quads, so those will be coming, keep an eye out for that. But I purchased these two quads, the Mink Mirage from yesterday and today's Noir Fumé from Selfridges. So this is what the Noir Fumé quad looks like. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, sexy, smoky kind of quad. A demo for this eye look that I have on will be at the end of this video, but I did want to just give you some particulars about this quad. Uh, again, I purchased this off of Selfridges, and in the U.S. it's a little bit cheaper than it is if you were to purchase it from a U.S. retailer. So um, I believe this is $74 uh, on Selfridges to America, and I purchased the remaining three quads from Nordstrom, and that was $88 each. So there is a little bit of a price difference um, I do have that uh, global, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a membership on Selfridges where you pay, I think it's like $55 a year and you get basically free worldwide shipping on most of their items. There are some items that they are not allowed to ship out of the UK, but that's beside the point. Uh, so anyway, if you do have that membership, it is a pretty decent deal to try and get these quads from Selfridges. So why don't I go ahead and show you a close up of this quad. So here we have uh, two mattes and two kind of like satiny shades. The lightest and the darkest shades are the matte shades and then the two kind of like mid-tone shades are the satiny shades. And then here are some swatches of the four shades in this quad. So we basically go from light to dark. And again, the two center shades are the satin uh, shimmer shades. So Tom Ford's eyeshadow quads have always kind of come in like two different types of formulas in a, in a very kind of broad sense. There was the wet dry formula. You saw those in the Soleil Neige collection. You saw that with New Dip and Honeymoon and then a lot of the newer quads, um, three of them actually, that he came out with last summer, like Body Heat, Suspicion, Double Indemnity. Those are all like the wet dry formula. And then there were the quads with more just sort of like a pressed powder formula. Now within that, there were different finishes. There were mattes, satins, toppers, uh, you know, like mattes with the little micro glitters in there. There were a lot of different finishes, but they were all kind of like of the uh, pressed formula versus like that Bay Chalet kind of like wet dry formula. So in yesterday's video with the Mink Mirage, uh, I'm pretty sure that quad is meant to replace the Coco Mirage, which looks like it is being discontinued. I tried to find it online. I'm not really seeing any retailers with it. Um, and so I kind of did a comparison of those two. I didn't find it to be that different. And I feel the same way about this Noir Fumé. This um, cream color here, it feels a little bit dry when I finger swatch it, but I think it applies very beautifully, very evenly. Um, and then these two satin shades and then this matte shade, I think works similarly to um, the previous kind of like eye quad formula. I feel like there is a definite similarity. I do feel like they, um, they just kind of feel a little uh, slippier, I guess like a little silkier feeling in the eye, a little bit just less kind of like a traditional powder shadow. But I think they perform very similarly to the previous quad. I got really nice pigmentation. I only have um, the two shimmer shades here on my lid. I basically have the lighter one all over and then I kind of accented with the darker one, you know, like along my lash line and um, the outer corner. And then I just use this dark matte shade just to kind of like emphasize my lash line. I kind of use it as eyeliner. And and then I use the cream shade just, you know, above the area underneath my um, eyebrow to kind of, you know, highlight the brow bone and help blend out the top edge of those shadows. I think they were incredibly easy to work with, which you'll see in the demo. I think they have a really beautiful level of pigmentation. I think they blend it out beautifully. I love, love, love this eye look. Yesterday's Make Mirage, all of those shades in there are of like a matte finish. And so that one is great just for very simple, everyday, workplace appropriate kind of looks, or just looks where you just feel like you just need to throw something on, you wanna look you know, a little polished, but you don't want anything overdone. That palette is perfect for that. And a lot of people have been asking me if I like the Ming Mirage more than the Coco Mirage. You know, at the moment, I think I do because I didn't really like that. Not that that's too strong. I, I liked that kind of reddish brown with the micro glitter shade in the Coco Mirage, but I always felt like I was choosing between one of the darker shades. I would use the two lighter ones and then I would choose one. I would use the two lighter ones and I would choose the other. I love that quad. I think it's great. I used it a lot. I traveled with that quad a lot. But the Mink Mirage, I think 
I think I like it more than the Coco Mirage because I really like that dark shade in there that you can use as liner, that you can use to kind of like smoke out your eye if you want. I just think that that dark shade really gives it some nice depth and dimension where the other Coco Mirage was very, very subdued. Now, I don't know if my opinion is gonna change in a couple of months. I don't know if I'm just like loving the Mink Mirage because it's brand new. Anyway, I kind of went off on a tangent, but uh, the Mink Mirage, great every day, daytime, workplace appropriate. This one, I mean, all those same things. I think it's great for daytime if you want. I think it's great uh, for the workplace. I think you can get a really professional look. But at the same time, I think you can get a very sultry, sexy, sophisticated evening kind of look. Like for me, this is like the perfect evening kind of like eyeshadow look. I don't normally do anything terribly colorful. I don't normally do anything that has just like a lot of glitters in there. If there was like a top coat in here, I'd probably, you know, throw it on, tap it onto the center of my lid, do something like that. But this eye look, I just feel like it's so Tom Ford. It's like very, very sexy and elegant all at the same time. It's just very, very sultry. So I am loving this Noir Fumé palette. I think it's beautiful. I think it performs beautifully. I just think it looks just so, so gorgeous on the lids. And you'll see in my demo, when I put the lighter satin shade on, just this one kind of all over the lid, you could totally just stop there and have this beautiful one shadow look just all over the lid. You could add a little bit of eyeliner, add some mascara and be done. It's like absolute perfection. It's like one of my favorite shades. You guys know how much I love that kind of like metallic taupey shade. This one is a little bit um, golder than like a true taupe. It has like a little bit of like an antique gold kind of undertone to it. And it's, it's just, it's so, so pretty. This palette is like one of those quads, if I had to like design an eye quad, it would be very, very close to this. Very, very similar to this. I probably would make this a little bit darker. I would probably make this a little bit cooler. I just think it's so beautiful. I like having two satins, two mattes. It's just really well balanced. It's just a simple, you know, quad. There's nothing complicated. So I'm really happy with this one. So there are some uh, Tom Ford quads that I have in my collection that I thought maybe would be similar to this. They really aren't, so I'm just gonna hold them up um, so that you can see. Um, here's Golden Mink, which I, I knew was not gonna be terribly close, but I thought maybe if you took out that really peachy top coat that there would be some similarities. Not really. <laughs> So quite a different kind of color story and definitely a very different like look and effect. The Golden Mink is much more shimmery. It's got a lot more shimmer going on. This is just not even close, but I thought I would just hold it up anyway since I had it out. But uh, this is the Titanium Smoke. I thought, I don't know, maybe it was like the gray version or the cool tone version of this. Again, I mean, maybe, but not really because there are different textures in the titanium smoke. So I just think you get like a really different look and feel with the titanium smoke. It's much more evening. And then Silver Topaz is probably the most similar to uh, the Noir Fumé, but again, it just has such a different feel to it. It's so much uh, more sparkly. The lighter shades there are really there to give it like a real like brightness and metallic finish where you're not really gonna get that with the Noir Fumé. The satin shades aren't as like metallic. They're just a little bit more glowy than the matte, but these are like really kind of like bright and metallic. And then here it is next to the Super Nouveau. I actually compared this to the Mink Mirage yesterday. It's just much cooler toned. Um, you can see some grays in the uh, Super Nouveau that you don't see in the Noir Fumé. And then last but not least, I thought I would compare this to the Iris Bronze, which I think was like limited edition and maybe part of some kit that Nordstrom did, um, but it is much warmer. So this is Iris Bronze. You can see it's much warmer. There's like almost like a little bit of a copper tone in there. Um, it's much more gold. I feel like the Iris Bronze is kind of like, I don't know, maybe like a baby between Coco Mirage and Cognac Sable. And I really like this quad. I don't know why they made this uh, limited edition. This should really be a part of the line because this is just, it's really, really beautiful. If you like neutrals with just a hint of warmth to them, this one is such a great one. But I haven't seen this available anywhere. It's just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they discontinue such popular ones, such beautiful ones or make ones like this um, and like the white suede that they did with uh, Neiman Marcus. I don't know why those are like limited edition. Doesn't make any sense to me. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into my demo. All right, I'm gonna start by going into this shade right up there and I'm going to use my Sonia G uh, Blender Pro. Yeah, the Blender Pro brush. And I'm going to just uh, kind of start applying this all over the lid because I wanna do a smoky eye. 
and I'm just going to drag the brush along my lash line and build up a bit. And I'm bringing it all the way up to like my crease area and just a hint above that. All right, so I've got that color all over my lid and I feel like if I wanted like a one shadow look, this would be great. You know, if you just added some eyeliner, a little mascara, I think this would be awesome. I just love, love, love this color. All right, next I'm gonna take my Sony G Worker One brush and go into the deeper satin shade down here. And I'm gonna deepen up the area along my lash line and build that up a little bit, probably focusing a little bit more on the outer corner. I'm going to take the Synergy uh, Mini Booster, Micro Booster, Mini Booster brush and go into this deeper satin shade again. And I'm just getting the tips of the bristles here. And I just want to drag this along my lower lash line. I'm going to take my Chicohoto GSN 9 brush, go into this cream shade and just highlight the brow bone area. And then I'm going to take my Esom T05 brush, go into the matte brown shade here and really work that into the base of my lashes. All right, so that's it for the eyeshadow quad. I'm gonna finish up my look and I'll be right back. All right, so here is my final look. I'll have all the details down below in my description box if you're interested in seeing what else I have on my face. Um, but I really, really love this quad. And so far, I think I like this one more than Mink Mirage, but I do think I'm gonna do um, either a live stream or another video kind of like wrapping up all of the new quads, um, maybe ranking them or whatever. If you guys think that that would be good, or, I, you know, I don't know, I just feel like I'm torn between doing that and just not because we'll probably be like OD'd on Tom Ford eyeshadow quads at that point. So anyway, let me know if you'd be interested down below in the comment section. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.